Woo, let's review some art, peeps. Hey there, this is a series where I browse through DeviantArt, find art pieces, and tell you what I like about it. A lot of the time, I find videos that browse DeviantArt that criticize the art for what the artist is doing wrong, but never really saying what they're doing right or how they can improve on it. I often see channels tearing artists down because their art is cringy or bad, but don't take into account that the artist could be young or just starting out. So, in this series, I want to look at art, and give advice on how to improve, encourage, and let them know that they should keep up the good work. So let's get started! So the first thing I noticed about this piece was the amazing looking sky. The colors match so well and look really natural, and the clouds are painted in really, really well. I also like the lightning and the dark clouds on the right side of the drawing. It gives it a sense of scale on how large the landscape is. I can tell a lot of effort went into it. The waterfall, on the other hand, kind of sticks out, and I don't think it sticks out in the way the artist really intended. The color difference from the ocean to the waterfall is a bit too sudden and doesn't completely flow, and the details in the water, though I can tell what the artist is going for, also clash with the smoothness of the clouds in the sky. I also feel the mix of the brown and the gray in the rocks around the waterfall could have had more blending to match the rest of the piece, give it more of a jaggedy kind of rock look. I have one more thing to say though, even with the contrast issue between the sky and the waterfall, I find the overall look of the piece very eye-catching. The perspective is really well done, and perspective's hard to do. I have lots of trouble making proportional detailed landscapes, and I think the artist accomplished this really, really well. Okay, so I checked out more of this guy's art, and he's honestly pretty amazing. There's a bit of a theme of texture and consistency when it comes to the sky and the actual landscape, but the use of perspective and light are always really well placed and pretty impressive. His skies are clean and smooth with a really good sense of realism, and all of his pieces have an experimental concept art kind of look to it. It's like I'm looking at the beginning ideas for a comic series or a video game. These three pieces are my favorites. They have so much detail and prove that he can make really beautiful earth and water textures. I love the amount of detail that are put into these, and I hope he does more stuff like this. I'll have a link to his profile in the description below, along with any of the other artists I feature on this episode, or any future ones. He's only got around 760 page views at this moment, and he really honestly deserves more. Pelicun? Pelicun? Pelican? 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 I like you. 